Now look at these beautiful fruits. This is the Hawaiian guava, and this particular one is the Pink Supreme, and it's a cut and grind selection. Now the Hawaiian guava is famous for these beautiful pink fruits, and they have a wonderful aroma. So even just coming near the tree, you can get that beautiful smell of fresh guava and you cut them open and it just fills the surrounds. So they're really delicious aromatic fruit. And they use these to make guava juice, but they're also delicious eaten fresh off the tree. And they hide inside these green fruits. So when you look at the tree, it just looks like it's covered in green fruit. But once they start to slightly go yellow, you can usually just touch them and they'll fall off when they're ripe. You'll get stacks of guavas off, off one tree, so they're really productive. And they're great in fruit salads and juices and really wonderful just eaten as they are. So I love this particular guava. It's my favorite of the guavas. I like the color and I like the flavor. I also like the tree. So they are a tropical tree. They do best in the tropics or the subtropics and do prefer a frost-free position. If you look inside the tree, you'll see they have this beautiful ornamental bark. So they're just a really gorgeous plant to grow in the garden. And you can prune it up to expose that bark so you can actually see that in your garden as well because it's a true asset of the tree. It is a really beautiful thing. You can also hedge them and keep them compact. This particular one is great for growing in pots because it's cut and grown. So if you have a nice warm position, good drainage, keep the moisture up to them when they're fruiting, you'll pick a massive amount of fruit off one small tree. Now we've just, Penning's just come down and joined us here in the orchard and she's taking cuttings off this uh, Pink Supreme Hawaiian guava that we've just been looking at. So what she's doing is she's taking all the tips off the trees uh, and she's going to strike these as cuttings. So this is how we produce our uh, Pink Supreme Hawaiian guavas, which is a cutting grown selection. We'll go and visit Penning later today and she can show us how she actually strikes these cuttings. But that's basically what she's going to cut. So she's going to cut all the tips off this tree and um, hopefully she'll pick a few bits of fruit for us as she goes. So just preparing the cuttings here, the bottom leaves are removed and some of the other leaves are actually cut in half and that just reduces some of the moisture loss. Uh, they're then dipped into a rooting hormone. This is a Clonex rooting hormone. So that's a purple Clonex. And then the cuttings will be put into this mix here. And this mix is actually a perlite and peat moss mix. So the perlite has perfect drainage and the peat moss actually retains a bit of moisture. So we find that that um, is a really ideal mix for root formation. So the cuttings are just gently pushed into that and then firmly pushed down so that holds them upright. And the next really important stage is to label our cuttings. So these are some propagation labels that we have. So this tells us what it is that we're propagating. It's the source, so where the cuttings have come from and who's done them and when they've been produced. So the plants are then labelled with those and they go into our propagation house to form roots. So this is in our propagation house and these are Hawaiian Supreme cuttings that were taken at the end of February. So that's just over a month ago. And you can see in amongst them, there's a few that have failed. Um, most of them are actually a success. So they're gonna stay on these heated benches for another month or so until we actually see roots at the bottom of the pots. And then they'll be ready to pot on into their own pots. At that stage, they go into potting mix and get fertilized. That's so not until they actually have their own root systems that we apply any fertilizer to the cuttings. And this is the finished product. So this is a cutting grown Hawaiian guava pink supreme. And you can see that it's already flowering. And this is the advantage of a cutting grown plant. So they do flower and fruit much quicker than a seed grown plant. This is basically a miniature mature Hawaiian guava and it's going to produce the same fruit that the parent tree had and it's going to produce that fruit much quicker than a seedling plant would. So there's lots of great advantages of growing a cutting grown selection.